What's up, everybody? It's easy. Bring you another war recap. Damage Inc. versus uh, the Chicago Bears. I don't know why they named their, big, their, their clan after them. Bears. Jesus. Anyway, we're going to start off. This is a scout. And uh, just so everyone knows, scout attacks, you're not supposed to be able to really do much with them. So, this is. Uh, as you can see at the beginning of the video, I said reason number at what 57 or something like that. I don't know. It took me like an hour to count all the different times that we've been able to hit two star town hall 11s with a town hall nine. Because what was that? Uh, because they built the ring base, and you just can't build ring bases as a town hall 11 and survive. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe at one point you could. I know I know they were popular for a little while. I guess they were like anti-bowlers anti or something. But they don't work anymore. So if you build a if you build a big ring base at Town Hall 11. Oh, I see now. You'll see a little pen. Now, you don't see the actual pen marks. But you can see me like drawing on it. Yeah. That's my new that's my new app. That lets me draw on the screen. Kind of sucks if you, th if you ask me though. <laughs> uh, anyway. What I did in this video is I showed all the six packs. We had five guys to get six packs in this in this war. We kind of turned it around. We had the longest losing streak in the clan's history. I think we lost ten in a row. Since then, we've lost two out of the last ten. So, big improvement. And what we did to change it all was we took out two of our two of our players because they both had point like pretty pretty hefty point fives. So by taking them out and having all even bases, we've we've really cut back on the amount of engineered clans that we that we face. Although we still face engineered clans. Matter of fact, uh, the last video, I'm glad I didn't post, but it's it was pretty bad. <laughs> Anyone that's ever been around for a little while knows what I do after a, a bad loss to an engineered clan. They're pretty ugly. Oh, also trying new things out. We're zooming in. We're zooming out. You know, I guess after a couple years or a year, whatever, however long I've been doing this, I don't know. Get bored. So we're trying trying new things. So that was Creepa. Creepa's got a couple of accounts in the clan, just like me. He had his kids, all had accounts, just like mine, and the kids don't make it very long. So now he's managing them. Make sure he follows the rules. Managing for the kids. So you had Creeper. This is Crypt Creeper. And if it, just a bunch of strong attacks by Creeps this, this war. He does a lot of our cleanup for us. So he'll wait till the first half of the war is over. And uh, then, he'll, then he'll try to manage the second half of the war. And uh, basically single-handedly uh, cleans up all of the garbage we leave for him. <laughs> And you notice this clan too. I, I, I will give it to uh, the Chicago Bears. They were not an engineer clan. I think they had maybe one or two. Um, they were a .5 clan, and, and it sucks for them too because they weren't really strong enough to, to go against us. But they were matched against us because they're a .5 clan, and so maybe maybe the matchup wasn't that good. It was just really bad for them. So that's why I'm not bitching about it. They had, I think, uh, 10.5. So they had 10 Town Hall 10s that didn't have Infernal Towers on them. And, and it's just... To me, that's not a point... That, a point five's not engineered. I don't know. Leave, leave a comment if you think it really is. I think this is one of those things that they've got wrong really bad. And it's affected such a wide... So many people have been affected by this. 
there I am zooming in. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it looks like maybe dirt. All right, you didn't have to see that. No worries. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but he's got three P.E.K.K.A. in the core of the base. And really, this base is, a, is like, it's, a, it's another ring base. And I just don't, I don't like the, I don't like ring bases at all. And reason is, is because if you have, if you use healers in your army composition, and you plan, and you just make sure you keep the healers away from the air defenses as best you can, then your healers are going to keep large groups of troops alive, and you'll just be able to outmuscle these bases. And you know, it's, it's ironic that. And this is the this is the nine straight third six pack from creeps this one this base another real catastrophe of the base I guess they were assuming that um, in war they're going to use giants I, I don't know but you see a big giant hole right there so uh, I decided to give this guy uh, Morendo or Marino whatever his name is some advice that's bad Because you don't, you know, what they what he did was direct the troops directly into the core of the base. They didn't have to, they didn't have to choose, and and you know that if you let your heroes choose where to go, they may they may not always choose the right direction. They may shoot a wall that's not relevant, and then as soon as the hole in the wall is there, decide that they don't want to go through the hole and go somewhere else, and take five steps and then go back to the hole and then shoot at four bricks down away from the hole. Only to open up the wall four bricks down and then walk through the first hole. So, it creeps. One of the pros in our clan, at air attacks. He he has been using dragons. Now this is not a dragon attack, but he's been using dragons in Town Hall Nine from day one. Really, I have I had to stop using dragons in Town Hall Eight. Uh, if I farm with them with my main account, which is a Town Hall 11, I'll be lucky to get 50%. And I know that dragons are hot right now, and I've been watching other guys use really good queen walks and and carve out a good path for the dragons, and then they bring the dragons in, and everything goes fine. Also, if you guys notice, I have that's my man-made fire. I've been working on graphics. That's about 700 different pictures of fire. Sometimes I get bored. So, good job pulling the clan castle, bad job in the clan castle placement. Apparently, they don't realize that the clan castle might be the most important building and that it's better to put the town hall on the edge than it is the clan castle. Because what he did was he eliminated the possibility for that dragon to chase his troops around where it's out of his reach and he can't just drop any troops right there on it. So you definitely don't want to put the clan castle on the edge. That's got to be the, the worst spot for it. You don't ever want to do that. You don't want them to be able to pull the clan castle troops with putting one troop in anywhere. So that's a that's a, a big mistake, a tactical error, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, now all we got this is another six six pack. This war, he I think in the last 15 wars, I think he turned Town Hall 10 about 15 wars ago, and I think he's got one two star. I could be wrong. Maybe he's got two. But he's been three star pretty much every single time. Uh, he used the same attack that he's using in Town Hall 9, except for now he can bring more bowlers. And uh, just been doing a great job with the slap, man. As a And, you know, for Town Hall 10, that had to have been my most difficult Town Hall to, to consistently three star in. I've heard it from a lot of people that Town Hall 10 has always is, has been their hardest. Um, Alm's not struggling with that. <laughs> I do remember a 9.5 nine was good because back then you could be a 0.5 and, and not get penalized like we do now. But now it's, you know, I, I, I don't even bring 0.5s in the clan. I mean, they could be a maxed out, they can be maxed on offense, and if they don't have Infernal Towers for ta and they're in Town Hall 10, I'm not bringing them. I can't. I don't want to rage quit. I mentally rage quit all the time as it is. <laughs> Okay, so I'm almost about to wrap it up. This was actually watching it live. 
it was there was no doubt that he was going to three star from the from the very beginning. There was just too many too many errors on the base. First, they had the clan castle on the edge. Then they had all these all these buildings way outside of the reach of the defenses. So I don't know exactly what they were trying, but it wasn't you know fail. <laughs> now this is the this is the this is the sand base that we attacked with Sable, who was a town hall nine. And now, if you guys, if anyone has watched, we did the same thing about three or four videos. We made a couple of videos on it actually. We made one on just the steps we took because we did a lot of did a lot of steps because it was actually a maxed out 11 that we were able to three star with the nine and the, and the 11 and didn't doing the same thing here. And what's pretty cool about this? It's the, using Pekka's with healers. And now the it, same thing did not happen as last time. Last time the Eagle Artillery stayed on the Pekka's the entire time. And regardless of how many times they hit, the Eagle Artillery hit the Pekka's, they have too many hit points. The healers were behind them. They were just able to, the, the, the Eagle Artillery did not, didn't do enough damage. They just can't damage the Pekka's enough for the healers not to be able to heal them back up. So it's a, it's a really, especially on ring bases, to, to put the healers on the Pekka's. Which normally I'll put the healers on the on the uh, now I'm drawing right there on the screen you can't see it but it's there. Normally I put the healers on the queen and use the queen and the warden together, uh, but not anymore. Now now I'm, uh, not in ring base at least. And now I'll send one Valkyrie in ahead just to make sure they're going to go to the middle. I use the warden with the Valkyries going to the core just to make sure again I didn't want to leave one uh, building in the middle and not and not get it. So we, we jumped in the middle, froze, raged, the Valkyries came and wiped out everything in the core. Use that, that was my scared uh, Warden's ability. There was one giant bomb that he was about to eat. And now at this point, use the last rage of the attack. And a little low on time, but I mean I got, I got Valkyries coming out of the bottom. We got bowlers up top. This is kind of no doubt what, what's about to happen here. And again, if you're a Town Hall 9, got she got 72% when Sable attacked. So, Town Hall 9 is getting 72% on you. And then you have an 11 that's got that's maxed on offense. Except for the heroes, or a couple of the heroes. So, it's kind of, kind of a dreary feeling at that point. Hey, you can actually see that. That was good. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little longer video. I'm trying to keep them five or six minutes, seven minutes. This is a little longer. So, seeing I'm talking to myself, probably no one will last this long. I do appreciate everyone. If you did last this long, sub to the channel. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody. Go! 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 Go!